Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you how to produce a DEM model from your three-dimensional object. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export this, um, this DEM and then import it into a GIS program. So let's go to Workspace and then open the the chunk elements and then you will see the DEM there. So just right click there and export DEM, export it as a T file. Remember local coordinates, the pixel size, that's fine. So I'm gonna keep everything as it is, but uh, I will remove generate TIFF overviews and graded tile TIFF. So I'm just gonna put it like that and click export and then finally I'm going to export this let's export it here I'm going to export it as a just DM and save now open QGIS I'm going to use QGIS, but you can use RGIS or any other program that you have. So basically, uh, you can uh, visualize the DEM in any single uh, GIS program. But the reason I'm using QGIS is because uh, we're going to use the option Hillshade to explore this DEM of this object. So what you can just do is the following. Um, if you go to this uh, button, add raster layer or menu layer, add layer, add raster layer, and then look for the DEM that we just exported. Oops, where it is, let me find it. So it's here. Okay, here it is. I just add it like this, close. It doesn't have a um, geographical coordinate system, but, for, but that's fine. And actually here you can already see the inscriptions in this, um, in this DEM. But we can do two things here. So right click on the layer duplicate it and then in the first layer I'm just gonna change the colors to single band pseudo color and the color RAM I'm gonna use uh, well we can use whatever basically but in this case I think I'm gonna go with a rocket or a this one you can use whatever you want actually magma is nice and for the second layer, I'm going to use Hill Shade. Now, to see it, I'm going to click here so we can deselect this layer from seeing it. And this is the Hill Shade. And here, the nice thing is that you can explore the different shadows and explore how this object looks by changing the light direction. Actually, if we change the altitude, let's change it to, let's say 70, you can see that it gets darker. That means that the light source is a little bit more horizontal to the image. Um, and if I reduce the altitude, it's gonna be more uh, perpendicular to the image. So if I use, let's say, 60, and then I start moving, you can see that some features in the inscriptions are actually highlighted. Now, this is one thing. And then if we just select again this, and right click here to select it, and then in blending mode, we change it to multiply, we can see that now 
we basically had a combination of uh, layers. And if we again select the second layer, which is the heel shade, and we move this, we can see the same colors, but also we can highlight the features. So you can see that in some cases, in some like directions, it's actually very good for visualizing the cuneiform inscriptions. So this is similar to RTI, RTI but uh, to explore the RTI, uh, you need a specialized program. So what I'm doing here is just to use the 3D model and then export a section of the 3D model into a DEM. And then from the 3DM, uh, from the DEM, <clears throat> you can explore the same things as you would use with RTI, but with the heel shade uh, tools of uh, QGIS. And you can also change the set, the set factor. Let's say that we change it to two. So to highlight a little bit more the features, something like that. Nice, huh? Or you could use multi-directional to put the light source from at least four different uh, angles. So now you have light coming from here, from here, from here, from here. So that's why you have this strange. Uh, if you use a multi-directional uh, light source, you, I would recommend you to reduce the altitude. Something like that. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to use this DM uh, to produce a normal map. And then using the normal map, uh, I will show you how to use Blender to actually highlight a little bit more the features of this object.